Hello, it's Paula again. I'm back for another really quick tutorial. Really, really quick. Um, and this time it is for faux wood. So again, recently I posted some earrings that I had made um, that I had a play around with some faux wood and some Cernic translucent. I kind of like mixing the faux wood with other clays. Um, and I think the translucents worked really, really well. But I did say that I would do another quick tutorial for you guys. So that's what I'm going to do. More for making life easy. Work smart, not hard. Um, there are a few tutorials out there. My suggestion to you is look at all of them and find what works for you. There's never just one way. This is just the way I've done it for years, working with clay. Sometimes it works really well, sometimes not so good. But we'll have a go. Um, for me, I have a selection of browns. Again, you can see my expertise with cameras. Um, I think that I have some raw sienna over here. This one, not sure. And these two, again, mixes. These, this one came from that last lot of faux wood that I did. So I just squidged that up a bit more and put that into um, my next mix. So really kind of any colours. I tend to find that I have a lot of off cuts and scraps that tend to be browns. So this is a perfect way for me to use them. And if it doesn't work, I roll them up and I start again. It doesn't always work every time I do this, but it's a simple way. So you've got your clays. What I've then done is I roll them out into um, little sausages, into little rolls and pretty much even for size. If I'm looking at my camera and not my screen, my slab to do this makes it a little bit harder, um, but I'm having a go. So I've literally got my sausages, different shades of brown. You can do whatever you like. Sometimes I put a little bit of gold in. And the easiest way for me to do this, and it's really simple, but the clue here is gonna be don't overwork it, is put them all together so I'm going to squeeze them all together. Okay, excuse my dirty hands. I was spraying something black the other day. I haven't got rid of it yet. So can you see, I'm just going to squeeze them all together like that. And then I'm going to start to make sure that the air is out. And I'm just going to roll them. Now I hand rolled these. I didn't put them through an extruder. Um, you know, not necessary. So as I start to work these... I'm compressing them so that there's not so much air in them because that's going to be really, really good. Um, I don't want to, there you go, hairs, make them too long and skinny. So be careful how you roll it. What you do want to do though is make it long enough. Can you see how that's starting to come together? The beauty of this is it comes together at the end. It's long enough for me while I'm doing this, I'm also making sure the air is out. Some of that clay doesn't look like I've worked it too well. Not a problem. All I'm going to do is put it back together like that. Sometimes it'll break at the end. Again, I don't worry about it too much. And then when I roll it next, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a twist. Can you see that? Again, doesn't matter that it's not as conditioned as I'd like, because the more I work with it, the more conditioned it will become. Make life easy, guys, condition it first. So I don't want to over twist it. It really doesn't look like much, does it? But the more you work with it, the more you compress it, the better it will be. Already you can see it's starting to come together. Again, I'm not making it skinny. Probably, what? you've got fat fingers, the size of mine. Even as I'm rolling it though, I just want to make sure it keeps twisting. Just want to keep twisting it a little bit. Not hugely, just enough. Just enough. Just enough so that when I actually do flatten it out, there's some texture to it. Mm. 
bien bien firmado It's going to get short and sweet today. Okay. Maybe one more. This is sometimes I have a danger of overworking it and it just comes out as a brown mess. But like I said, that's probably what happened with some of this. And I'm just using it again until I get it right. Have fun. Don't stress it. Bottom line is, it's only clay. Alrighty. Now. I reckon I've kind of got that where I want it. So when I start to flatten this out, I'm going to have lines coming downwards. Okay, so I'm going to have my vertical lines. So now I'm trying to squidge it back together a little bit more. Probably all got your own ways of doing this. I've been doing it like this for years. More so because I like to cut bits off and put them in jewellery moulds with resin so it looks like I've got wood and resin uh, I've seen some beautiful jewellery with wood and resin but I've always just used clay to make it you can see a little bit of dark coming in there as well, that should come all the way through alrighty, now the next thing I'm going to do is go off camera just for a second and we're going to put it through on number seven which is my thickest setting on my pasta maker i don't have lucy extractors or pasta makers i just have a pasta maker that i bought from a kitchen shop that i probably should have used in the kitchen but this is far more fun all right now i'm just going to go off camera do this and i'll be back Starting. I've got these bits here dry where I didn't condition it very well as I said that's okay because I'm going to flip it and do it again so can you see how that just starts and all I did was twist it all I did was twist it so I might hold it over and do it again I might just fold it over and do it again I don't ruin it Paula do first maybe that'll work that is pretty much the technique roll it out with sausages put them all together condition it more than I have clearly this is going to be your basis. So I folded it and I'm going to run it through again. Um, and I can do that a couple of times. But I want to be really, really careful that I don't lose my lines. Which is my tree growth, really. And my wood. Let's have a go. So that was once more through. Looking quite good. I might just do one more. I'll do one more. Honestly, condition it more than I have, which basically means work it a lot more first. If you're not sure what I mean by that. I quite like it because, you know, wood's not perfect, but it is beautiful in its own natural state. So I'm quite liking that put it through a few more times if you like I'm not sure I'm going to I don't know I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that but that is the technique literally sausage condition it roll it into sausages okay, let's go back condition it roll it out into sausages long, quite thick squidge them together Start to just give it a twist while you roll it. Try and keep it quite thick. Don't go too skinny. It's always been my danger is going too skinny. And I'm going to use that and do something very similar to this. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do. 
There you go, guys. Tell me what you think. Give me some love. Let's share the skills.